rates, but is there a hidden price tag for pedestrians? We compare the pros and cons of a reflective pavement being tested nationwide. You can watch Investigate TV Plus anytime streaming online. Get the app for Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and Apple TV. They're free to download. The thought probably crosses your mind on a warm, sunny day. Wearing dark clothes will make you feel hotter. Turns out dark colors absorb more heat and can turn up your temperature. That same science works on the dark colors of our buildings, roads, and parking lots. Because the materials retain more heat than natural landscapes, asphalt and concrete can easily reach 120 degrees Fahrenheit during the peak of summertime. Since pavement covers a large portion of U.S. cities, it can contribute to higher temperatures during the day and less cooling at night, something called urban heat island effect. To combat this temperature surge, cities from Maryland to California are testing specialized roadways. Reporter Kristen Crowley investigates whether cool pavements are making a difference. Training classes today? Oh, yeah, yeah. On a scorching day in Tennessee, Got cheese on there. customers lined up at this food truck. Gravy? No gravy. And grab drinks with their usual lunch favorites oh. in an attempt to stay cool. The sodas and the bottled water and our, our own sweet tea is big sellers on the day also. A high concentration of buildings and roads help fuel Nashville's status as an urban heat island. But just feet from that food truck, the city is testing a reflective coating on the blacktop in an effort to beat the heat. Nashville is just one of many cities across the country turning to what's known as cool pavement. It almost acts like a sunscreen that we use um, when we go out, you know, outdoors. Amanda Valenzuela with Tucson's Department of Transportation in Arizona explains existing roads are sprayed with more reflective material that's lighter in color. That reflectiveness, uh, it can help make the pavement feel cooler. Research has shown around 10 degrees cooler than uncoated pavement but that's just the asphalt itself. The study found six feet off the ground, the air temperature was only three tenths of a degree cooler during the day and only half a degree cooler at night. But Professor David Saylor, director of ASU's Urban Climate Research Center, says even that little bit can make a difference. We say it as a success because even a half a degree Fahrenheit reduction in air temperatures can substantially reduce energy use for air conditioning, and water use. Sailor worked on the study and acknowledges another finding. While the cool pavement decreased the ground temperature, people walking on it felt as much as five and a half degrees hotter because they absorbed the sunlight reflected off the road. Sailor called this a necessary trade-off. That concern uh, is easily outweighed by the benefits of the cooler air temperatures. Since 2020, ASU researchers have worked with the city of Phoenix to test cool pavement. Reducing the surface temperature, which is great for reducing our urban heat island effect. Ryan Stevens, an engineer with the city's transportation department, says while there is still more research to be done, the option could quickly cover miles of asphalt. Paved surfaces uh, comprise about 40% potentially of our urbanized area. So there's a lot of area that we can address. Cool pavement is about three times the price of the typical black coating. But Stevens says the roads getting the treatment needed to be sealed anyway. It's not the solution to our urban heat uh, issues, uh, but we are confident that it will be beneficial for us in the future. In Phoenix, the city discovered some issues with the pavement. In less than a year, some treated streets were less reflective, likely because of dirt that collected on it. The city says wear and tear is typical, and the lifespan of the seal coat is about eight years.